Uh, he's actually an Indian guy who lives in Germany. Uh, his name is Rama Reddy. And he told me something that I have never forgotten and I've always carried with me pretty much anywhere I travel uh, around the world. He said, whenever you're in India, if anything crazy ever happens, just remind yourself, this is India, right? So if these kinds of things happen, right? Weird things that you weren't expecting, just remind yourself, this is India. Give us one India story. Uh, okay, so this is like a really small one, but it is kind of funny. So I went to see a Bollywood movie in Bangalore, right? Um, it was late at night. I was like bored. I was like, I'm just going to go watch a movie at this movie theater here. I go into the movie theater. The, there's a kid probably in his 20s working the, uh, the box office. And I ask him, I say, hey, do you speak English? He nods his head and says, yes. I said, okay, great. I said, uh, um, are there any of these movies with like English subtitles? And he goes, yes. I'm like, oh, cool, awesome, amazing. I point to this one with like a historical action movie. I said, does this one have English subtitles? Yes. I'm like, oh, great, awesome. <laughs> I'll, get, uh, I'll get one ticket to that. So I get the ticket. I go, I get my popcorn, I get snacks and stuff. I go into the theater. It's a packed fucking theater, right? I sit down after 10 minutes there are no English subtitles. And I keep thinking like, okay, maybe they're gonna like start or something. Like, I don't know what's going on here. And I have no idea what's, no idea what's happening because I, I, I can't speak Hindi, obviously. And I come out of the theater and, and I, I get the manager and I was like, hey man, I'm not like mad or anything. I'm just so confused. I was like, I asked the kid if this movie had English subtitles and he said, yes. He goes, oh, he goes, yeah, that kid doesn't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but and, and he just was like saying yes because he was like trying to be polite or something, right? Like, and I was like, oh, I was like, uh, can I have my money back for the ticket? I was like, I'll take the popcorn because I'm already eating it, but can I have my money back for the ticket? And he he actually gave it gave me my money back. No no issues, no arguments. Yeah, the next day at the gym, I told my my Indian friends this, and they're like, he gave you your money back? And I was like, yeah, no arguments whatsoever. He didn't really care. And they were like, yeah, he must have just felt bad for you. Because they said they would, he would never do that for like a local, right? If you were a local, he'd be like, you're a fucking idiot. Fuck you. <laughs> but for me, I guess he was like, he's like, okay, this dumbass tourist doesn't know anything. So, yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. But yeah, so it was, you know, not really that big a deal. But it was funny. Um, if that's, it's funny. It's like, that reminds me a lot of like what will happen in like Thailand, right? Have you guys heard of Mai Pen Rai? So my penrai is like a Thai phrase, which just means never mind. And it's like, you'll ask Thai people questions and they don't know the answer, but they will just tell you something because they're like my penrai. Like they don't really like, cause like they don't, Thai people don't want to feel, they, it, I, I guess the culture there is like, it's rude to not give an answer, right? It's rude to just say, I don't know, right? When in reality, sometimes that would be better because you'll be like, oh, is this, like one time I was in Bangkok and I was trying to find something. I was like, is this down here? And they were like, uh, yes, yes, it's down that way. And then I went down that way. It was not down that way. <laughs> and, uh, like I, I asked a friend of mine, I was like, yeah, he said to go this way. He goes, no, Rob, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He just wants you to stop asking him questions. <laughs> My pen rye. <laughs> so uh, I guess it's a similar kind of thing. What are some of the other phrases you learned in your first? Sabai, sabai, sabai means like relax. Um, yeah. yeah, sabai, sabai. Uh, I speak, uh, I, I shouldn't even say I speak anything. I don't speak Thai. I know a few funny phrases. I know a lot of phrases to get Thai people to like laugh. So, yeah. yeah. Were there any other phrases you learned when you first got to Thailand that your buddies told you? Uh, the, the Ao Mai one, which was like, yeah, they told me it meant, they said it meant, so it's to do with like lady boys. They told me that it meant I'm not interested, but really it means I would like to try. So, like, yeah, I was saying, I was walking past them, and I was saying, I was doing this with my hand, too. I was like, get away from me. And they were like, but I was saying, I want to, I was like, I want to try. <laughs> so they're like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Like, they were so confused. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's like, dude, it's funny. Uh, my mom asked me recently, like, uh, her and my dad have not really traveled that much, and they want to travel around Asia a little bit. And she was asking where I think they should go. <laughs> I said, definitely go to Singapore. And I said, definitely also go to Thailand. I said, but just keep in mind, in Thailand, if dad is by himself, like, women are going to, like, try to, you know, I mean, they're trying to get him to come into a place, right? And ladyboys are also going to do that. Yeah. And my mom was like, never mind, we're not going there. <laughs> she was like, we're not going to Thailand. I was like, it's not 
he like it's fine like it's like that, they're not gonna like kidnap dad right but just know right like that you know if he's by himself he's going to that's going to happen i'm like you know but just just go in knowing that and you'll be fine um yeah, but uh, yeah, my parents are not super experienced travelers. So I was trying to give them like easy places to go to, like I think like places like Taiwan, Korea, Singapore. Uh, maybe I've never been to Japan, but I'll, I'll bet you it's pretty, pretty easy there. Yeah, it's um, really super clean. Everyone's nice. Yeah. yeah. Whereas, Whereas like an inexperienced traveler, you know, if you go to places like India, I think Vietnam is like not an easy place to travel to. I would not recommend inexperienced travelers come to Vietnam. It's not the hardest. It's not India, but it is not super easy. Uh, or like Cambodia is another one where it's like sort of like mid-range difficulty level. 